What's going on boys, no guys here, welcome back to another video and today's video we're going to go over the weekly tactics setup and I'm going to explain to you all the tactics, we've got one for defensive phase as usual uh, we've got one, uh, two attacking variations, the one that you can use for the middle of the game let's say you're just starting the game or you're 1-0 down or even you're winning 1-0 and then we have an ultra attacking system, we're going to go through all the custom tactics and instructions as, us as usual I was going to say this video is sponsored by FIFA School Series, patreon.com forward slash well, patreon.com for those no guys but i'm own domain there but yes anyway uh don't forget my patreon series still running and don't forget we do have the complete division 10 to elite division series every single game from a division 10 to elite division just playing base football to show that anyone can do it you don't have to abuse mechanics of all these youtubers you don't have to use any special tactics anything like that basic football no mechanic of using and only one skill move um, but link is in the description for that down below and don't forget if you don't get bit after one month I'll refund your mind that is a nil guys guarantee link is down below in the description patreon.com forward slash nil guys but anyway going back into tactics now guys um, we're coming towards the the pa next patch is coming out very very soon from my understanding there will not be too much of gameplay changing so a lot of this is going to stay very much consistent the only thing that's going to come out is a new 4231 but for now this 4231 is still used by defensive option Ideally, I would say at this stage of FIFA, whether you're playing next gen or old gen, you need a two striker setup. So most of my formations here, I got two strikers there. I got three strikers technically there, and then I got three strikers there as well. So most formations need either one, uh, sorry, minimum one, of course, but you need a realistically a three striker formation. Ideally, absolute minimum two. You can go to one if you got like a cam on stay forward, but that's the only way. Um, so we have the the 4 to 3 one. This is the one that, let's say we're winning 1 or 2 and 0, we would change this formation. If we're coming against someone who's very strong, we would also change this formation. If we're winning 1 or 2 and 0, and we think the balance of play is going away, and also I start with this formation. Now, I actually have the cam on comeback and defense. Now, if you want to make this more attacking, you can put the cam on stay forward. I keep shifting, and the reason why is it's because it just depends on who I'm playing. Um, I always use a striker comeback tactic if you want to do it as well, but just put your striker, stay central, stay forward. Your three cams are come back in the fence. You can put the outside cams and get into the box for cross. Both CDMs cut passing lanes, stay back while attacking, cover center. And left back and right back, stay back while attacking, conservative and overlap. Okay, so guys, the point is, this is my ultra defensive tactic, okay? If you want to make this um, somewhat attacking, just put the striker and the cam both on stay forward. That means it basically attacks like a 4-4-1-1. That's the way that I like to play my fours. I think a lot of players love it because that way it's like a center forward and a strike and they're always on stay forward. So that's the only formation I think you can use with a one striker formation that you can basically get away with it because it's so powerful. Again, you go with the lamb and rams and cams balanced. I go through all the things that you can change as well just so you know what you can change depending on your level. Again, you can always change your defensive style, but I'm not going to do that. Why? Because it's my, my defensive tactic. Now we go over to the 4 one 2 one 2 I've got a video like on this dedicated on my channel. Um, but this is the one where you basically defend in a 4-4-2 and you attack in a 4-1-2-1-2. Very similar to the 4-3-2-1 that I put up. Except for the 4-3-2-1 has three centre mids. You can argue this is a very similar variation. We'll get onto that in a second. Uh, going back to tactics over here. I use pressure on every touch. The idea is when we lose the ball, we run our team to press and get the ball back. This formation from normally find out my opponent is weaker than myself then let's say I know that I, I can probably do a bit better I apply a bit more pressure I'm not going gung-ho I use press, pressure on heavy touch so any pressing when there's a good chance to win the ball it basically is balanced with the game just helping you now and then but there's a good chance to win the ball that's what pressure and heavy touch does depth a bit higher long ball forward runs again I prefer the forward runs and don't forget uh, for the instructions we have um, what well, you can put both of these guys on stay forward if you want to stay forward then you can put the cam on comeback and offense remember that comeback and offense with the cam you can put this guy on balance this is going to be your left mid and then you put your two cdms um i put both of them basically on um, cut passing lane stay back while attacking um like this stand edge of the box put them stay back while attacking cover center. now make sure both of these guys on cover center okay so what this basically means is get rid of this one second but it's left back and right back and stay back so how this works is i'll draw this out for you just to make it a bit easier people always forget about how this formation works of what you know let me just quickly show you this in the weekly setup these guys are going to stay forward the entire game okay this guy is going to be your right mid when you're defending okay this guy is going to be your left mid and these two guys are going to be your left center mid and your right center mid 
So you're basically defending a 4-4-2. So Neymar's on comeback and offense. I would urge you to put conservative interceptions on and get into the box for cross. Just so when you get that ball back, he makes his darting runs from the right mid position. Um, and then for Morales, make sure you have him on balance. You cannot put this guy on stay back while attacking. You put him on get forward if you want to, but do not put him on drop between defenders or stay back. So either balanced or get forward. Ideally, a high, high work rate would be ideal if you have a choice. If not, just leave him on balance. And make sure he's on cover wing. That way he goes to left mid position. And then what that means is he goes there, he goes there. Then he will go there. Lorente will go there. So Diallo over and cut passing lanes to the cover center. And then the other center mid, Lorente, I've got him on stay back as well, cover center. You can leave him on balance, but I just think leave him on stay back. You can always manually trigger him yourself if you want to, or leave him on balance. Um, left back and right back, you can put them on stay back while attacking um, as usual, or you can leave them on balance. I explained this. Uh, one thing that you can do is you can put the central CDM uh, to make you more attacking on drop between defenders. And you can put this player on overlap and leave these guys on during the attack. So that's you can even use a D-pad tactic. So you leave them on stay back while attacking and use a D-pad tactic, tactic attacking fullback. So you don't know what I'm talking about. Leave them on join the attack overlap. So what would happen is when you're defending, you will still defend in a 4-4-2. So Lorente, Lorente will go there. Diallo will go there. Morales will go there. Neymar will go there. So you're defending a 4-4-2. Then when you get when you win the ball back, Diallo will drop in to make a makeshift back three. These guys will go forward, um, almost ending in you kind of like almost a 4-1-2. Kind of like a 3-5-2, but not really. Uh, it doesn't really work like that. Um, but it has a similar system. And then you have the two center mids. So that is the instructions. Now, very similar to the, now these formations, both of them, they're very, very similar. So what I'll suggest is decide which one you prefer out of these two. If you prefer the 4-1-2-1-2, then keep that formation. If you prefer the 4-3-2, I mean, you can use both, but you see, they're both very, very similar. What I mean by that is they both have like, you know, this has three strikers. Yes, it's a bit more attacking, but this is the exact same thing. This also defends in a 4-4-2. I've explained, for example, how... This guy goes here, Morales goes there, and he's still defending a 4-4-2. So it's up to you. They're both very good formations, but I would strongly advise you is have a formation here, like my 4 triple 2 and don't forget, I upload these tactics on my channel. The 4 triple 2 the 5 2 one 2 or the 3 5 2 That is my best advice. So put a wider formation and a narrow formation together. I wouldn't have two narrow formations in my setup. Okay, that's just my personal preference, but some of you guys like it. So I would normally keep the 352 here. So what you can do is here, you could decide what do you want? Do you want to use my 4321? Or do you want to use my 41212? And of course, if you want, I even have formation at the 451, but we're not going to mention those because the 451 or the 433 false nine realistically only appeals to like 10% of you guys. So that 10%, you will know that's your main formation. You just slot it, you should know that by now. The idea is, guys, is you want a different system. Have one wide, one narrow. It's not just about randomly chucking things in because if you go into a game and you're up against someone who's playing very, very narrow, you may want to use a wider formation. Well, let's say someone is using overload the ball side, you may want to use a wider formation. Do you understand? So the idea is you can just change on the fly and it basically forces your opponent. Not everyone has these setups. People just go into a game and they have one formation, they, one slot, and they use that the entire game. And then they improvise. A lot of players don't actually do this. They stay out of the game. That's what all the pros do, or top two play, top tier players do. So um, I would recommend um, either one of these two. My personal choice, I'll be honest, I like both of them, to be honest. I really do like both of them. I think they have, they have different ways because this one's a bit more attacking and this one's a bit more on the defensive side because when you actually have a CDM, although you defend in the same 4-4-2 system, you actually have a CDM, whereas this one, you have center mids. And don't forget um, how this works is, again, we have both of these guys on stay forward. These guys are going to be the two strikers in a 4-4-2. He goes here and he goes here when you're defending. So if these guys on stay forward, stay central, get it behind. Left mid is the same in 4 and 2 on 2 Put them on cover wing and balance. You can put them again to the box if you want to. And then the uh, right forward, put them on comeback and offense. And then both the center mids, you can put them either both on still or attacking or you can put one of them on balance. I put one of them on stay back. Make sure they're both on cover center, by the way. I put them both on stay back and... Uh, um, and cover center and edge of the box and I put the other one on balanced if you want to you can put this guy on balance as well so the way I do it is I use the 4 one 2 one 2 to kind of like okay can we try to get through if not we kind of go this one's a bit more attacking but it's more midfield support here 
So sometimes, for example, when you're using direct passing, that's why direct passing actually works very well with this formation because the three center mids and the three strikers, the three strikers forces your opponent's line to go back, push the line with them, and it creates more space for the midfielders. So this formation is actually good to create the gaps in between, whereas, for example, this one is a bit more of a direct one. But anyway, as I said, guys, you can always change this to whatever you want, if you want to say. And the last one is the 4-2-4. This is basically my do or die tactic. This is like, guys, if I'm losing... I don't know, 2-0, and at 60 minutes, I changed this formation. This is like, okay, I need to come back. It's time to start the comeback. It's time to start masterminding the, gate, the way back into the game. I would only go to the... Because these guys basically defend in a 4-4-2, what I'd probably do is use, like, team press or constant pressure um, to get, a, let's say, I'm 1 or 2 nil down, like, 60 minutes. Because I want to go gun code. Because don't forget, if you're three, if you're 2 nil down, you don't want to go 3 nil down. So I'll go a bit conservative. This is more of like, okay, you know what? I've got like 20 minutes left. I need to get two goals back. Or let's say you're 4-0 down at half time. you got to come back. Like Especially going towards the, the higher ranks, right? If you really push towards the rank one, the biggest thing is mentality. A lot of you guys are probably a better player than you guys think you are. I mean, you might get, for example, 16 wins in a weekend league. I'm pretty sure you probably reached a 19, even 20 with some good, with some good fortunate matchmaking. But the truth is all about composure. A lot of people, when they go down 1 or 2 nil, they end up crumbling. Can you get back into the game? This is the comeback formation. And it's one of the best, your widest possible, highest possible, far up, far up the pitch, allowing so much pressure. And when you get the ball, you can use fast ball to play a long ball and you're getting the ball going forward. Um, come back in offense for both the left mid and right mid or left wing and right wing. Get it behind, get to the box. Two strikers, stay central, stay forward. One center mid, get forward, cover center. The other one also get forward and cover center. You can put one of these guys and stay back, but again, I just want everyone to be going forward and then we leave the back four all on stay back and left back and right back conservative overlap so um i i do it because what happens is uh, when you versus a, a better player they're very comfortable with defending like in a 4-2-3-1 but what they will do in a 4 2 3 is they'll put their striker their lamb their ram and a cam on stay forward so you at least want a 4v4 at the worst case scenario um you can of course if if you know your opponent if you're like if you're in the game and you have the the knowledge of like okay when do i push these guys going forward you can always use a deep tactic attack at fullbacks if you realize your opponent's only got one strike on stay forward or two but the idea behind this is you're applying as much pressure as you can high up the pitch to win the ball back and everyone gets forward when you get the ball anyway guys that is the weekly tactic setup um again it's not, not too much has changed i just wanted to uh, mention some of the things people ask me about these formations so yeah i mean I want to. I'll release my fun tactics as well during the week. I've made some changes to that one as well, and that'll be coming out soon. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget, sponsor my FIFA School Series Patreon.com forward slash No Guys. Links down below in the description. If you click on the description, you should see the link nil.to. Just click on that one. That way, I know who signed up um, on what day. So if you don't get better, I will find your money after one month. And don't forget, we got all the other videos as well, not just the Division Ten series. We got all the videos how to defend, how to attack, how to go forward. Every video from FIFA 9, FIFA 19, 20, oh, FIFA 20, 21, 22. So you also have the other year's videos as well that also still actually work. Because don't forget, I just teach basic football. Best way of learning. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Take it easy and I'll catch you next time. Peace out, guys.